Import and Filter. First we have the standard and compact views. The difference is the compact just shows everything smaller. Other than that, it's exactly the same. So since we don't have that many jobs, we'll go ahead and leave it at standard. Now we'll go to Sort and Filter. So under Configurations, we can view all jobs, which is the default we're seeing now, or we can change it to just active jobs, which there are none currently. We can also change this to the next 24 hours. It shows our next scheduled job. And we'll go back to all jobs again. From here, we can sort these jobs. We can sort them by name, server, backup exec. So we can do then again by uh, state, job status, whatever it is we want. So we can just keep we can keep going with three different options, and we can do ascending or descending. And then click OK, and you can see the, the different options. From here, we can also go to the filter, and the filter. If you check that box, you can go in and just show the following types of jobs. So we can say full backup, one-time backup, archive, incremental. So we'll click OK, and then we'll see that that gets filtered to just the jobs that we have t told it to look for. So we'll go back to filter again, and we'll uncheck the job type, click OK, and now all the jobs are back again. One other thing we can do is the columns. By default, these are the columns that are listed. We can also add additional columns. And when we do, you'll see that pop up over here on the right-hand side, active jobs. And then if we want, we can save this so the next time we come in, it will see that same set of filters and sorting that we just did.